Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher from CypherPika.com and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a shinobi guide slash tips video with some of the things that I've picked up. This is not going to include everything because I want to keep it short, but I also want to make this a little bit of a uh, starter pack for anybody who's picking up shinobi and wants to be effective with them. Now I know a lot of people have been complaining about shinobi and how safe he is to play and you know I can discuss balance in a different video. I do agree with some of the complaints that shinobi has received, but I want to put this out there for anybody who's trying to pick up Shinobi and maybe as a person fighting Shinobi you'll understand the mechanics behind Shinobi and uh, get a better understanding when you're going against them. So let's start off with the pretty basic stuff. Whenever you initiate uh, combat with Shinobi you want to try to mix in a few things besides your very powerful kick. One thing that Shinobi has is a slide tackle which guarantees two free lights. Actually it only guarantees one free light. But for most opponents, you will be able to land both of those lights. Uh, when you slide tackle somebody, if you lock onto them immediately uh, and hit them with the light attack, your first light attack will hit them while they're getting up. Technically, they have hyper armor during this moment. And then your second light attack is unblockable and will most likely hit them. Very, very smart opponents know that they can dodge the second light. You just have to be careful uh, if they punish that or attempt to parry. I'm not sure if it's parryable, but I do know that the first light is guaranteed, and for the most part, I land the two free lights on 99% of my opponents. Rarely have I ever had somebody dodge the second light. Uh, me personally, I always do dodge the second light because I know that it, get, it puts me in an advantage where I can potentially punish a shinobi who goes for the two free lights. So that's the first thing. You want to engage with the slide tackle. You want to mix it up sometimes, go for a tackle, sometimes for a, go for a guard break, you know, just to mess with your opponent's head. The second thing you have, and this is the most powerful thing that Shinobi has, is his, you know, kick mix-up. He he does a unblockable kick after two dashes, or um, he can go for a guard break. So it's sort of a 50-50. Not really, because you can react to the kick. It is about 400 milliseconds, which is pretty fast. But it's definitely something, at least on PC, that is reactable. If you wait, don't dodge when you see the smoke. As soon as you see the kick coming out, you can dodge and uh, avoid it for the most part but this you know really applies for people with you know quick reactions and um, maybe people who aren't playing on console I'm not sure how the kick is on console but I assume it's a lot easier to avoid on PC but the the shinobi has the dodge dodge kick and the dodge dodge guard break and you should really mix that into your playstyle and it's pretty much going to be your main bread and butter to be honest with you if you want to play safe and if you want to play to win it's going to be dodge dodge kick dodge dodge Delay the guard break and then guard break because if you guard break too soon, you'll end up kicking instead. Now, a tip on top of that that I want to share with you guys is you can delay your kick and your backflip kick after uh, you know rolling towards your opponent by quite a bit. The backflip kick has actually a very 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 long delay that you can that you can pull off. the The original dodge dodge kick has somewhat of a delay, and I do recommend that you use this to your advantage. Don't immediately kick right after double dashing. Um, you can wait just a tiny bit. It's 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 no longer than a second or even half a second, but it makes a difference in throwing off your opponent's dodge timing. Um, the backflip kick in particular is extremely effective because you can even wait until they dodge before you do the backflip and it will still connect with them. And if they attempt to dodge and guard break you while you're delaying the backflip, They'll bounce off of you while you're flipping, and it guarantees you a ranged guard break. Um, now, speaking of ranged guard breaks, the Shinobi has some pretty decent punishes off of parries. Actually, for the most part, it's reserved to the light parry. If you heavy parry somebody with Shinobi, you can grab them. If they're too far away for the grab, you can, you can opt for the light parry ability, which is just a bleed, an instant bleed you apply to your opponent. Um, that's if they're, you know, they're too far away for a guard break. Uh, you just instantly um, input a light attack after parry. But if you parry a light attack with Shinobi, you are guaranteed a ranged guard break. All you have to do is as soon as you parry the light, hold on to your heavy attack so that you start charging your uh, attack up and immediately hit the guard break button. And you can actually get it out extremely quickly. Your opponent cannot counter this guard break and it puts you into the sickle combo. So I definitely recommend this. Um, Obviously, you can always go for the heavy light if you need to get some quick damage. But in a 1v1 or in a group scenario where you can call for, for help, uh, a light parry will guarantee you the ranged guard break. Practice it against the Valkyrie bot uh, and you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. 
Um, just make sure you hold on to the guard break and click X before you let go of the guard break and you do the range guard break. And as soon as you see the range guard break comes out, you get the guaranteed heavy into sickle combo. Now, uh, I want to talk about uh, off with the tax what you should do. Now, if you miss a kick, you can input a backflip, and that's actually extremely useful because um, off of a missed kick, you'll be right in front of your opponent. Sometimes they can go for a punish. Sometimes, uh, you know, they'll try to trap you. Shinobis play really well when they can go in and out of an opponent's, uh, you know, range. And the backflip helps that, uh, helps the Shinobi control the, you know, the distance between him and his opponent. Off of a missed kick or a landed kick, you can instantly hit dodge again and you'll do a backflip. The really good thing about this backflip is if, if an opponent tries to punish you with a guard break, um, they'll bounce off your backflip and you'll be guaranteed a ranged guard break. Now, the backflip isn't 100% safe. Well, some characters can actually punish the backflip with attack, so you have to be careful and, and try to not put yourself in a position where you're forced to backflip in the first place. Now, this backflip also works off with attacks um, or just attacks in general. Um, if you land an attack or if you miss a light or heavy, you can instantly dodge and uh, you'll do the backflip and create distance between you and your opponent. You should definitely use this uh, tremendously. This is something I, I haven't re even really incorporated into my playstyle too much, but just recently I started uh, using it a little bit more. And it's extremely effective at you know maintaining distance, avoiding punishment. And that's actually the biggest complaint that a lot of people have towards Shinobi, that he's very hard to punish. And I, and I do agree with this to an extent. You can dodge a lot of his kicks, but after you dodge the kick, most characters actually don't have the tools required to punish the shinobi uh, post-kick. So I, I think some adjustments need to be made in, in, in that department. But again, this is just a video to try to help you guys with shinobi, try to give you some tips and some pointers. Hopefully this video helped you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage going on in the background. Um, I will you know, make a second part of this with some extra details and some different things and uh, uh, you know just 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 add on top of this to try to help you guys you know become great at shinobi right now shinobi gets a lot of slack because you know he really has the strong kick and that's that's all that he has going for him at least that's all that people use him for uh, but I do think the class uh, has potential outside of that and um, hopefully we can explore that and you know do some experimentation with the class and and work on him and expect a second video uh, following this one up very, very soon. So thank you guys for watching. I uh, just wanted to put this out there for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to see more uh, great content for For Honor, youtube.com slash cypherpk or my stream, twitch.tv slash cypherpk. Or you can visit my website, cypherpk.com, and I post some For Honor things on there as well. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and you want to see something uh you know more like this in the future maybe centurion i'm not sure i just picked him up recently and i and I'm, i am enjoying him we'll see what happens there thank you guys take care